What is up my dudes, Kevin here, we are back with a brand new Red Dead Online video. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys an awesome money making method combining cougars, fish, and birds, some of the most valuable things on Red Dead Online. So if you guys enjoyed this, drop a like down video and comment down below. What do you think of this method and what do you think about the upcoming update on February 26th for Red Dead Online? I'm curious to know your opinions on that, so comment down below. And besides that guys, subscribe to the channel and let's get this going. So as I said in the intro guys, we're going to be combining multiple different techniques to make one amazing money making method for you guys all to do to earn some money before this upcoming update. Now at times it's often best if we go back to our roots and combine some older techniques with some newer ones to come out with the best result because as you know, sometimes the basics are the best. People tend to get a little too complicated at times and it actually is slower than some older techniques that are very, very efficient. So we're going to start off at this location right here, which many of you guys may know about. I showcased this a while back and I'll tell you it's an amazing spot. So it's going to be right here at Stillwater Creek near Blackwater. And after this location, we'll go to two different spots, which are actually on our way back to Blackwater. So it's a very, very easy and efficient technique. But this spot right here, guys, is amazing. You can pretty much spawn an unlimited amount of fish at this spot. You don't have to fish. You don't have to shoot them. You don't have to do anything. And they'll pretty much just kill themselves. No work at all. It's very quick and easy money here. So once you guys get here, what you want to do is get near the water, take out your fishing rod, and you're going to want to equip a lure. I prefer the lake lure. That seems to work the best for me here. You can get some big largemouth bass to spawn in. Once you guys have the lure equipped, all you want to do is dunk it into the water right here. You'll notice a whole bunch of fish to spawn in. If they don't, simply adjust your position. But I seem to have got it on the first try. And look at that. A whole bunch of fish. Now you can also switch your lures up to make sure you guys are spawning in the max amount. I like to do that just to be safe. But it looks like I got a bunch in the first go. So I should be good. At this point, you can put your rod away. You don't need it anymore. All you have to do right now is simply run through the water. It's going to make the fish go crazy. And they're going to swim onto land themselves. Pretty much suffocating and killing themselves. You can already see we got some over here that swam up. So there's chain pickles here. There's rock bass. There's largemouth bass. There's redfin pickles. And there's rock bass as well. So there's a wide variety. Oh, and bluegills. And variety is what you want at these fishing locations because you can hold the max amount of fish. So another way you can get them to go onto land is simply shooting your gun into the water. You'll notice that also makes them go crazy. So if you guys don't mind wasting a bit of ammo, you can also do that. And that's going to make them go crazy and swim up onto land. You can also simply shoot them in the water if you want to, but I prefer to simply run through and shoot my vomit rifle here and there. I only shoot the fish that are straggling that I can't get to go onto land, but it's usually not a problem at all. But as you guys can see here, we already have a ton of fish piling up on the land. And the best thing is, once you guys do one batch and pick up all these fish, you can pretty much right away till it's out of your mini map. Come on back, take out your fishing rod. And it's going to spawn in a whole new batch just like that. So it's pretty much unlimited fish. You can stay here and do this until you guys have the max amount that you want. So I'll do that. I'll do about two rounds or so. I'm going to pick all these fish up. And then we're going to head on to the second location, which is very easy as well. And that's going to get us some very, very valuable birds to bring back to the butchers on top of these fish. All right. This should be plenty. So here we go. Let's see what we got from here real quick. And it looks like we got 10 largemouth bass, which is great. The pick rolls, we got the rock bass, we got the redfin pick rolls, and the bluegills. So like I said, a nice little variety. Of course, you can keep going until you guys are maxed out. But I think you guys get the idea. At this point, we're going to move on to the next location. And the next location is going to be this island right here near Quaker's Cove. So it's an easy, easy ride. We started here. And now we're right over here. So it's a straight line right on back to Blackwater, which is why this method is so efficient. So at this island, we're going to find some very, very expensive birds. And there's one little trick you have to do to get them to spawn in if they don't spawn in naturally. All right, so here we are at the island. And as you guys may or may not see, it's quite foggy. There's pelicans on this island, and there's a whole bunch of them. There's one, two, three, four, five. I've had up to seven on this small island before, and there's some in the back. You see six. There's probably one over here as well. So this island is filled with pelicans, and pelicans go for some amazing money if you guys don't know. Now, if they don't spawn in, all you have to do is walk to that bridge, turn your back towards the island, walk on back, and a whole new batch will be spawned in. But we got a really good batch, so we're not going to do that. So at this point, you guys want to head on down close as you can get. You want to focus on the three star birds because as you know, you can only hold two of these on your horse. And so that being said, you want to focus on the three stars. So you guys get the most amount of money. And once you fire the first shot, they're all going to go crazy. So just pick out the good ones first. Make sure you have them located. So right here and right here. So I'm going to go ahead and take this one out first. There we go. We shot them all out of the air. It's kind of hard to see. It's very, very foggy. 
but I think I got a good amount. Now, you guys want to ride your horse on over there because, as you know, you're not going to be able to swim them back over. You're going to have to hook them onto your horse, then ride your horse back through the water. That's the only way to get them off the island. So make sure you guys bring your horse over there before you head on over. Okay, so it looks like I actually messed up a bit because of the fog. And many of the birds actually flew away before I could get them. Which, you know, is obviously not a good thing. But it's not too bad because there is actually more pelicans right over there. Which I'll show you guys in a second. Now, the other birds I was talking about are going to be right over here, guys. The whopping cranes. And they're right across from the island, as you can see. So you can kill those as well if you do mess up at this island like I did. Hopefully you guys don't. Uh, I should have waited until it was a little less foggy to take my shots. Because I couldn't really see what the hell I was aiming at. And I did lose most of them. So... If you don't lose them, you'll be able to get a full batch of feathers, which I did not, unfortunately, like I said, but it's no big deal, guys. So since I did miss those pelicans, I'm going to go over here and replace the other side with a crane. Now, you notice there's usually two of them here. So here's one. There's another one. It's so it's so foggy. I can barely see, but let's take him out. Take him out. Oh, there's actually three. So there we go. We got three of them. So that's actually very good. We made up for our mistake, and this should fill in that spot for money now on top of this you guys can even do this if you didn't even mess up the other island because this is a complete different type of feathers which as you know these go for some good money as well so so boom just like that super super easy that's the second part of this method complete we got a whole bunch of feathers we got two great birds on the side of our horse here we got some meat we got the fish and now we're going to move on to the cougar which is actually very very close by so now we're going to hunt for the cougar now the cougar can be in this general area anywhere around this region sometimes they spawn up here and sometimes they actually do spawn down here in this region so basically once you guys get here you want to ride through here slowly and pay close attention to your mini map because usually they'll pop up on there before you can even see them as they do kind of blend in with this spot so there he is right here he's usually under oh my god oh my god i'm an idiot well yep Ruin that one. As you guys know, you guys want to one-shot these cougars. You don't want to do what I just did because, uh, well, you're about to see here in a second. It is now a one-star, which is pretty sad. But learn from my mistakes and be on guard. The cougar usually spawns right under this tree. Let me show you exactly on the map, right near this location. Now, the cougar is usually marked right here, but he doesn't really spawn there ever. He spawns right here under this huge, huge tree. At times, it's hard to see him. Where at times he won't be there. If he's not there, literally all you do is hop on your horse, ride up north a little bit to about this house, ride on back down to the tree, and he'll be there. That's what I had to do, and he was there. Unfortunately, I messed up its quality, but it's not that big of a deal. So, oh, oh actually, don't skin him. You want to wait till you skin him until you're at the butcher, because at times the pelts do get glitched on the horses, but since I already did it, it's not a problem. We call my horse back on over here. We're going to load them on up, take them back to the butchers, and I'll show you guys how much money you can get from all this. Also, a cool little tip, guys. If you do mess up the cougar like I just did, a cool way to get another one to spawn is, is simply leave the cougar dead on the ground right away, come back, and the new one will spawn in. It may take a little longer, or if you guys don't care, you just want to sell the one that you got, go ahead and just take it like I am right now. It's not that big of a deal, because at this point, I could simply sell all this and complete the whole method all over again. So let's get to selling exotic bird meat, 60 cents. We'll sell that. Get the grizzly mutton, 90 cents in total. The largemouth bass, 20 bucks in total. That's very good money right there. Then we got the pickerels, a dollar each, eight in total. Not too bad, nothing crazy. Bluegill, 75 cents, dollar 50 in total. We got this gamey bird meat, 75 cents in total for that. Nothing crazy, but it all adds up in the end. We got the big game meat, $1.50. That's usually from the cougars. The pelican feathers, like I said, $1.20 each for these. That's some good money, $3.60 in total. We would have had nine if we killed the other ones, or ten possibly. Cougar fang, 50 cents. Uh, next, we got the chain pickles, $2 for these. Sell that. Next, we got the whopping crane feathers, $1.20 for these. $10 in total, because as you can see, guys, like I said, those feathers are very, very valuable, often more than the carcass. So the flight feathers, these are just normal feathers you get from birds. Rock bass, uh, six of these, a dollar each. Tender pork loin, I killed a pig on the way. Um, I mean, you guys may or may not have this. There's a lot of pigs in the area. We got perfect got pelican many. carcass, $3.75. Good money right there. Perfect crane carcass, two seventy five. not bad. And here we have the cougar. Of course, the cougar would be a lot more if it wasn't poor condition. So you guys can add an extra $10 or so onto this method. That's how much money you would get. So it's actually really, really good money in total if you guys add everything up. 
You could possibly even get close to 100 bucks from one route if you do get a full inventory. Ooh, and I even completed the award. So as you guys can see, a highly effective route. I feel like oftentimes people forget the basics and often the basics are the best way to go. So if you guys enjoyed this or if this was helpful, drop a like down the video and comment down below. What do you think of this method or anything to add to it to make it even better? Besides that, subscribe to the channel. I'll see you all next time for a brand new video. Peace.